Yeah, shout out, JJ. Are you sad? Because mom's not home. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah, it's my dog, Daisy. Uh, anyway, so in a couple videos, um, I did not, first of all, say or talk about uh, the last trip, or sorry, the last day in my trip. And um, I also wanted to rap that Heather song, so I want to do this as fast as I can and not try to go over six minutes and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, so uh, the last day we visited the orphanage. We all paid $3,000 to go on this trip. We fundraised and we also got, you know, we can't lie. We got some, some money from our parents, but we also raised uh, $3,000 that we would give for them to make a, uh, a new orphanage. And because um, they had people or children, five or six of them would live in one room. And so basically, we um, they were already constructing it, but the Belize government uh, promised that they this orphanage would get the money, and instead they didn't. And so what we did is we swooped in and we gave them uh, a three thousand uh, dollar check, and so they'll be getting money. And hey, I think that's uh, it's pretty cool. It's great to see, you know, even though that was a trip for rest and relaxation, that little piece of just um, you know God's hand just being right over there. And, and showing grace to these children as they get a new place to live. And uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting. I was uh, four when I moved from house to house, so I don't really remember that. But even for these kids just to have a new location and a bigger area and maybe even have their own room, it's just, um, they were very excited. Very excited to see us uh, when we pulled in. So um, yeah, basically recapping the trip, I mean, it was a great experience. I mean, I had a choice because I learned about the trip months after it was already planned and so I didn't have enough money and I didn't have enough time to make that money so basically my parents said well we can get you either a computer for graduation or give you two-thirds of the money and then you raise the other or we were like yeah about two-thirds or halfway and so we split it right down the middle so I, I had 1500 to uh, make at my job and 1500 for uh, I guess graduation so I got the money I was um, very very excited, and I mean, really, one of these years I'll buy a computer, so. But yeah, I really recommend it. It's uh, an amazing place. It's so gorgeous. I've never been outside of North America. So to be in Belize, um, I wasn't sure what to expect. I mean, I had four or five flights, exhausted, tired. I'm a pale white boy, so I did get uh, burned when I was there. But definitely um, a lot of activities. All the people are nice, even just uh, going to the the restaurants and seeing all the different um, different things that they serve and even like little cafes or little counters that they have just all these things you will uh, you will always remember it's one of those experiences I love to travel some people hate flights and they they hate traveling or they're they're um, they're afraid of heights so they don't like to fly they don't like to go on planes they don't like to go anywhere they just want to be home bodied and Really, I like to go out there and I like to explore, aka the whole Oklahoma thing as well. So you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so yes, I apologize if I screw up on this because uh, really I wrote this. I don't know. I wrote this um, a couple days ago and I don't really have a beat behind it. But yeah, so just um, like I said, I'm going out to camp the uh, the 16th, so which is in a couple days. And hopefully I can make a video either Saturday or Sunday for the next month because I'll be out there for a month. Okay. So this is about Heather. And, um, yeah. I think it went, I think it, um, it's good. So without further ado, there's no title. I just wrote it. Back in November, I met a girl from Instagram. Learned out her name was Heather and is an instant glam. Heard her cute voice and that she had a nice fam. And we went together like peanut butter and jam. I've never felt this way about anyone before. She always makes my day as I need her more and more. Super nice and sweet, her love went from my heart to core. And I promise one day I'll be standing at your door. I have a plan, and I know it sounds crazy, but I want to meet you, the special pretty lady. She's like the sun, shining bright and glowing right. It would be so much fun to hold hands and worship Christ. We started Skyping, and I found out that she was a Christian, that she went on trip to go fulfill his mission. She's putting love into children who have lost their vision. One and only Heather, I love and I hope she listens, cause I...
I'm sorry for getting pretty jealous Cause guys love me smile But I was getting zealous To show how much I care for you When I have a plan Is to go to Oklahoma and visit you And be that man To treat you right So you can keep that smile Right on that gorgeous face For a long while I'll show you off to the world My darling Heather And I will always love you Back then, now and forever if distance doesn't work and we cannot find love, then how can we give worship to the Redeemer above? His love is majestic, full of peace and grace. And if this plan works, I'll be seeing your face. Looking into beautiful brown eyes and I'll get lost. Cause love had to be sacrificed right on a cross. And God is the boss, so I'm asking for help. Will you help me get an okay see or will I be left all by myself? Lord, she's so great. You brought an angel down full of heart, peace. And grace and what I gotta say Hope it gets through The mud, pain, and distance Heather, I love you And I'm not giving up Even if plans are stuck God gave me motivation to show that you're enough You've seen me at my best You've seen me at my worst You've felt me inside your chest When I was falling to the dirt But I know this earth is full of his heart When I follow Christ I get a head start Forgiven when I'm apart Of these worldly things But can you Make this happen, please. She's my everything. Deuces.